डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन क्लासेस प्रोग्राम ऑफ हायर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट पंजाब इट इज डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज एंड लिटरेचर ऑफ गवर्नमेंट पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट कॉलेज एटेक हेर आई एम शरीफ जाहिद असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इंग्लिश वेल डियर स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू रिकॉल you were enjoying a change and the change was from difficult period to happiness the lastly we were studying that there will be a new heaven and new earth and let us enjoy that new heaven and new earth in the text for it is in us it means this change feelings feelings are there as well as without us and if we are happy from inner so we may enjoy the nature as well without is natural beauty scenic beauty these flowers this greenery these clouds those who can may follow the columns of winter in their retreat from the earth and if you do not um, accept it it is your sweet wish to remain in that world some of us we have no choice the suffering is within us it means the feelings are there within our body within our thoughts the silver fountain begins to bubble under our breast so the expression of happiness takes birth from our inner self there is gladness in spite of ourselves so when everybody is making happiness we must accept that and on the instant we accept the gladness and we have to accept it the first day of change mean when we accept the change then it gives us its feeling and its expression and we feel the first day of change out whistles an unusual interrupted pain a fragment that will augment itself imperceptibly so there are feelings of joy there are feelings of sweet uh, fragrance and they are continually emerging from ourselves nobody is there to intercept or interrupt and this in spite of the extreme bitterness of the suffering we may have certain problem but that does not matter that is not an obstacle in spite of the myriads of torn dead of course we have the feelings of those who had been our near ones and dear ones but still if change takes place so we must express and we must accept that change for a long long winter and the frost only broke yesterday of course that was a difficult period of life but once it is over it seems that it is the story of the yesterday yet is it seems already we cannot remember it so we should not try to retain it in our minds it is strangely remote like a far off darkness as some darkness is quite away from us why should we be afraid of that it is as unreal as a dream in the night so as in the dreamy world we may come across some miserable or dangerous scene and we aren't afraid of that because that is not a reality that is unreal dream similarly this is the morning of reality when we are ourselves and we must accept the advent and arrival of winter season this is natural and real the glimmering of a new creation that stirs in us and about us which is surrounded and that must take birth from our inner feelings we know there was winter long fearful accepting the hard realities of life we can enjoy the happiness as well we know the earth was strangled and mortified it was not a very pleasant season we know the body of life was torn and scattered broadcast everywhere it was something difficult to witness to come across 
बट वट इज़ दिस रिट्रॉस्पेक्टिव नॉलेज वाई शुड वी रिमेन इन दैट वर्ल्ड थ्रू आउट आवर लाइफ डिस्पाइट द फैक्ट वेन द चेंज हैज़ टेकन प्लेस इट इज़ समथिंग एक्सटेनियस टू आस एक्सटेनियस टू दिस दैट वी आर नाउ सो दैट वॉज ऑल्सो ए हार्ड रियालिटी एंड इट इज़ ऑल्सो एन अदर हार्ड रियालिटी विच इज़ विजिबल टू आस एंड वी मस्ट एक्सेप्टेड एंड वट वी आर एंड वट इट सीम्स वी ऑलवेज हैव बीन वट वी आर इज दिस विग्रिंग लवली सिल्वर प्लॉम ऑफ प्योर क्रिएटिविटी शुडंट वी एक्सेप्ट ऑल दीज साउंड एंड एक्सेप्ट आवर सेल्व एज वेल दैट वी आर द पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ दिस प्लेजेंट लाइफ एज वेल ऑल द मोटिफिकेशन एंड टीयरिंग वाई शुड वी रिमेन ऑल द टाइम इन द डिफिकल्ट पीरियड ऑफ लाइफ आ यस इट वॉज अपॉन अस एन कंपसिंग अस वेन वी एक्सेप्ट दिस रियालिटी एंड वी ओन इट देन वी कैन एन्जॉय इट इट वॉज लाइक अ स्टॉम और अ मिस्ट और अ फॉलिंग फ्रॉम अ हाइट दिस एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ डिफिकल्ट पीरियड मे बी लाइक अ स्टॉम लाइक अ मिस्ट एंड द मिस्ट डज नॉट रिमेन थ्रू आउट द डे इट लिफ्ट अवे एज इट हैज टू गो or it may be some difficult experience like the falling from a height it was entangled with us like birds in our hair driving us mad so like the birds like the birds which uh, make us frightened for a while but it goes away but it was never really our innermost self we should not settle it in our body forever within we were always a part we were this this impaired fountain of silver so definitely we have to accept we must make merry then quick scent rising the breaking now itself the flowering so then we shall be able to enjoy the new phase of life which has come now but the writer is of the opinion that what about those who always remain in the past what can we do how can we help them out it is strange the utter incompatibility of death with life of course the both things cannot remain simultaneously one has to go when the other comes and if the pleasant life has come we should leave the hard period of life while there is death life is not to be found during the difficult period of life we cannot make merry we cannot enjoy it is of course a reality it is all death one overwhelming flood and that covers us and then a new tide rises when that is over and somewhat better time we experience in our life and it is our life the fountain of silvery blissfulness we must enjoy it we must accept it it is one or the other it means cannot remain simultaneously both the times one means whether it is difficult the other means whether it is pleasant or the vice versa we are for life and we are for death means we must accept both period one or the other but never in our essence both at once it is not possible that we may be the part of both at once now if we remain busy in one part of life then what does happen and the writer starts from the difficult part of life death takes us and all its torn redness passing into darkness if we aren't ready to accept the change and we wish and we complain and we all the time mention that i have passed this or that difficulty so we shall remain in the dark period of our life life rises and we are faint fine jets of silver running out to blossom but when we accept the change definitely the change comes and it makes us happy or is incompatible with us it means all the things cannot be accepted simultaneously 
देर इज द सिल्वर स्पेक्ड इन डेसेंट लवली थ्रॉस विस्लिंग पिपिंगली दिस फर्स्ट सॉन्ग ऑफ द ब्लैक थॉन थिक इट ऑफ कोर्स थिंक अबाउट दोज इनोसेंट बर्ड्स हु डो नॉट एक्सेप्ट बोज थिंग साइमल्टेनियसली वाई शुड वी एक्सेप्ट दैट हाउ इज ही टू बी कनेक्टेड विद द ब्लडी फीदर्ड अनसाइडलीनेस ऑफ the thrush remnants just outside the bushes of course those inno- innocent birds also witness the carcasses the bones the wings of their fellows of their dear ones there is no connection if they are ready to bury all that miserable period of life why can't we they are not to be referred to one or the other so here in these paragraphs the writer is stressing upon this point that we are willy nilly we have to accept the reality and the reality is that the winter season has gone so they are not to be referred to one or to the other where one is the other is not of course both things both things can't remain at a time in the kingdom of death the silvery song is not of course while experience is difficulties of life one can't make merry but where there is life there is no death and when the season has changed your difficulties are over you must accept and own them no death whatever only silver gladness perfect the other world so we must accept it and thank you very much for happy watching and patient listening allah hafiz